Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get VSO player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the first step you gotta do is get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. You can get Downloader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. Just go to the search bar and start typing Downloader in here. So that's what we are doing right now. And as you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. Let's click on it. And now here's the app that you gotta get. But after you get the loader, it is not over yet because you'll still need to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we need to go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon. After that, scroll down until you see my far tv open it and in here what you have to do is locate downloader and turn that option on so what it does it is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official amazon app store by default and that's exactly what we're going to do right now so now we go back to the list of apps on your Fire TV stick, which is right here. Let's open it. And now here is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops or pretty much any other device you may use and they are not expensive for such a premium service in fact they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us the users in a vpn app just connect to any server so let's say we want to connect to andorra and from the moment you connect all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted it means that no one can track you or snoop on you online and that is really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we have to go back to Downloader, open it up, and wait until it loads for you. And now when the app has opened, just go to the search bar and start entering the code, which will be 380178. So once again, 380178, that's the code that you have to enter and click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks as well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, when the installation file was already downloaded, you have to click on Install and wait a bit until the app gets installed to our Fire Stick. Usually it takes only a couple of seconds, and after that, after the app is installed, do not click on Open yet, instead press on Done because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So you click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick does not really have too much of free space available anyway. And now when you go to the list of apps on your device, you'll see the SO player, which we just installed. So now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. 
click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.